just bypass that whole stupid Norton account thing. And right now I uh, selected to run a live update. Um, so hopefully that will finish in a decent amount of time. Remind me later. Okay. So, um, over here to the left, they have this kind of nifty thing. I think they're trying to brag on how Norton really doesn't use that much of your computer. I mean, that's obvious to me, but that's what that is. Uh, right now, the system is maxed out at 100% CPU. Uh, I've only given it 50% of mine, so I can use my other PC in the background. Um, and Norton is using, you know, like 30%, uh, 36 whatever. It'll go up and down. It's kind of weird how Norton works. Like right now, you would expect Norton pop-ups down here. These these definitions are only 22 days old, so um, it's definitely going to detect things on here. But it's like it doesn't terminate or scan or anything at this point. Um, you have to kind of go in and configure it a little bit. And I'm going to minimize the uh, live update and try to condense this review a little bit here. Let that live update go in the background. Uh, so I'll go up to uh, under computer, I'll click settings, as soon as I get rid of this pop-up. And uh, it's not that fast. Uh, only because the system is maxed out at 100% CPU from all the malware. Um, so I don't know if you want to say it's if, if it's, you know, Norton's just kind of slow or it's or it is just the malware in the background. I can't tell because uh, the, the latest little piece of malware that installed disabled my task manager and I, I'd have to use a, a different task manager type application from uh, Sys internals and I don't have time for that right now. So I'm just going to ignore it. And just kind of wait for this to load. So I did click settings. Still waiting. And a couple other people have said, well, why don't you just right click on your uh, menu down here and just end some of these things. Well, you can't. You can't end these uh, these fake program alerts. These fake system alerts, I mean. Uh, I'm going to try to click it again. Maybe it's down here. I don't know. No, that's live update. Still checking for updates. Oof, that was a pain in the ass. All right, I don't know if you can see this stuff, but um, on the top we have anti-spyware. I'll click configure. All right, so it's basically saying check for all of these categories. It's like security risk, hack tool, spyware, trackware, adware, any, anything that's, you know, spyware or adware. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video for a second, and when we come back, I'll go through the extensive configuration here. I'll be right back.